You don't have to excuse me. I have a whole lot going on, but um, I thought it necessary to talk about um, kind of this process that I'm currently doing now. So the mugs have been bisque fired already. And you know, a lot of times with the underglazes, when they're done on your, um, like your greenware, they do sometimes chip, you know, when you're moving them or, you know, the color sometimes comes out patchier in some places. Uh, not necessarily the case for why I am like redoing the color on these. Um, the color actually came out of the bisque like looking perfect. Uh, but that's something that I've kind of learned um, in time with doing uh, things with underglazes is that just because it comes out of bisque looking good doesn't mean that it's gonna stay that color throughout the whole process. Um, meaning a lot of times, like the greens, they they tend to get darker um, in between bisque and glaze fire. There's charts on Amico's website. Um, you know, for me, the big color changes I notice are in the greens. Um, and the blues, I feel like the blues always turn out a little bit darker than what I expect. So I tend to try to, you know, err on the side of caution with those. So the part that I did, I guess, before I started shooting this, because I was being lazy. I was originally like, eh, I'm not going to show this, but um, this is an important part of the process. Um was I went through, cause if you remember on the original Grinch videos I posted, this side of his face is darker. So I went back through with my Amico leaf green and I redid like over this side and I did some of like the line work and some of the darker fur and the eyebrows on this side with that leaf green. And now I'm kind of going on top of everything with my chartreuse, um, just to kind of like blend, you know, so it blends once it's fired. Um, but this side will still show up darker. So, you know, kind of like it did, let's see. So unfortunately, um, you'll have to refer back to my previous like video I'd posted on my Instagram, but um, like this side hasn't really been touched. Let's see, um, like I did a little bit of leaf on that one side, but then the other side I have done with the leaf green and I'll go back in and touch up the lighter areas. Uh, same with this one, this side I've redone the one side, but I haven't recolored the other side. And I think that the the lighter sides look like they probably would be okay just because I I did like really cautiously apply those underglazes the first time around. Just because like I said, I've learned from past experiences, everything turns out darker than you expect. Um, so yeah, this one I'm basically going to leave as is. I'm going to end up going back in and touching up the eye some too. I'll have to use a smaller brush, um, you know, and maybe even doing over some of the black that I covered up. So basically just wanted to show this because it is something that you'll probably encounter having to do when you're doing stuff like this, having to touch back up. I think the only one I'm not going to touch up much is the... The Ralphie and I kind of erred on the side of caution when doing him too because pinks burn out really easily so I'd use like the rose and maroon around his lips I might redo a little bit of the maroon um, but I don't expect his face if anything his face may get a little bit darker versus lighter um, and same with his hair so well all right Short but sweet, I guess. 